Arthropods are a group of invertebrate animals that include centipedes, millipedes, spiders, mites, horseshoe crabs, scorpions, insects, and crustaceans. There are more than 1 million arthropod species that have been identified by scientists, and there are estimated to be many millions that have not been identified. Many insects and other related pests attack ornamental plants in Florida. I'm Dr. DeBusk, and in this video, you'll learn about the biology and life cycle of arthropods and the types of mouth parts and feeding damage of ornamental plant arthropod pests. The exoskeleton of an arthropod is a hard external structure made of chitin that protects the arthropod, prevents desiccation, and provides structural support. Since the exoskeleton is rigid, it cannot grow with the arthropod and must be molted periodically to allow for increases in size. After molting, a new exoskeleton is secreted by the epidermis. Muscles connect to the exoskeleton and enable the animal to control the movement of its joints. The muscle structure of arthropods is more complex than that of most other invertebrates. Arthropods have longitudinal and circular bands of muscle tissue as well as isolated muscles that together enable a wide range of movements. Additionally, arthropods have a well-developed nervous system. In more advanced arthropods, the nervous system consists of a brain and double nerve cord. The two main types of mouth parts are one, chewing, and two, piercing and sucking. Chewing insects use the front part of their mandibles for grinding. Piercing and sucking insects have a tube-like structure similar to a drinking straw to extract plant sap. The most common types of feeding damage are stippled or chlorotic leaves, defoliation, dieback, and distortion. Most insect reproduction results from males mating with females. The females of some aphids and parasitic wasps produce eggs without mating. Some bear live young, but most insects hatch from eggs. Insect eggs come in many sizes and shapes, elongate, round, oval, and flat. Eggs from, of grasshoppers and praying mantids are laid in capsules. Stink bug eggs are barrel shaped. Eggs may be deposited singly or in masses on or near the host, in soil or water, or on plants, animals, or structures. The change through which an arthropod passes in its growth from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. When a young arthropod hatches from an egg, it is called either a larva or nymph depending on the species. After a time, the young grows to a point where the skin cannot stretch further. The young insect sheds its skin and forms a larger one. The number of these developmental stages, called instars, varies with different insect species and may vary with the temperature, humidity, and food supply. The heaviest feeding generally occurs during the final two instars. The adult stage is when it is capable of reproduction. Some mature insects do not feed, and although in many cases the adults do not feed on the same material as the immature forms. Winged insects develop their wings at maturity. Insects that undergo gradual metamorphosis pass through three different stages of development, egg, nymph, and adult. The nymphs look like small versions of the adult form. Mites also undergo gradual metamorphosis. Both nymphs and adult usually eat the same kind of food and live in the same environment. The change of the body is gradual and the wings become fully developed only in the adult stage. Examples are mites, grasshoppers, stink bugs, lice, termites, aphids, and scales. Insects undergoing complete metamorphosis pass through four stages of development, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The earlier stages, called larvae, caterpillars, maggots, or grubs, look entirely different than the adults. The larvae usually live in different situations and in many cases eat different foods than adults eat. Examples of insects that undergo complete metamorphosis include beetles, butterflies, flies, moths, bees, and ants. Larvae hatch from eggs. Larvae grow, molt, and pass through several instar stages. Moth and butterfly larvae are called caterpillars. Some beetle larvae are called grubs. Most fly larvae are called maggots. Caterpillars often have legs. Maggots are legless. Weevil grubs are legless. Other kinds of beetle larvae usually have legs. It is usually the larval stage that does the most feeding. The pupa is the stage when the larva changes into an adult. Some insects spin a silken cocoon and pupate inside of it. Pupae do not feed. Arthropods with piercing and sucking mouthparts cause this damage. Symptoms appear when an insect inserts its mouthparts into the plant. The plant extracts sap and chlorophyll from the plant cells. Chlorophyll is a plant pigment responsible for imparting plants green color. The plant parts without chlorophyll often appear chlorotic and unhealthy. A lightly stippled leaf is green with tiny yellow flecks on the upper leaf surface. A heavily damaged leaf may be yellow or bronzed. 
Arthropods with chewing mouth parts can feed on practically all plant parts. This feeding results in holes in the leaves or removes portions from the margins. The pests may eat some or all of the leaves. Some arthropod pests feed on roots or in stems and branches of plants. This may cause branch dieback or plant death. The tip of the branch may wilt or leaves may turn yellow or brown initially. After a time, all the leaves die and the branch dries out and breaks readily. If roots are infested, you can easily pull the plant out of the ground. When arthropods feed on new plant growth, the leaves do not develop properly. They may curl or fold and shoots may bend rather than grow straight. In this video, I hope you learned more about the biology and types of plant damage that ornamental pests cause. In the next video, I'll discuss the different ornamental pests you may encounter in the field.